The Wisconsin legislature sending a message to cities across the state, defund the police and you'll pay the price. The bill calls for penalties for any municipality that cuts police budgets or reduces the amount of officers on staff. Jason Calvi at the state capitol tonight with more on what this bill would do if it becomes law. And Jason, that's a big if, is it not? Yeah, it really is, because Democrats have really been almost united in opposing this bill. It did pass the Assembly at a nearly party line vote on the west side of the Capitol today. It already passed in the Senate on the south side. Now, that sends it over to the east wing for the governor's likely veto. Defund the police, a rallying cry after the death of George Floyd. Don't shoot. The Wisconsin legislature gives final approval to a bill that would cut the same amount of state aid that a municipality cuts from its police departments and first responders. Other places that don't cut their budgets will see more state aid. We need to have enough officers so they can do their job. I commend the senator and the representative for bringing this to the table because we're here to save lives. Milwaukee's latest budget cut more than 100 police officers, not hiring new people to fill spots of those who leave. Though the overall Milwaukee police budget is almost static with rising costs in health care and personnel. A large part of Milwaukee is now run by gangs. Where in the hell are you talking about? Because my address is in the city of Milwaukee, born and raised. Democrats say the state should send more money back to Milwaukee and that cities should be able to try new approaches to ending violence. Actual violence prevention comes in higher quality of living, better public education, uh, getting rid of those lead laterals, more resources for parents in those communities, more social programs. Who doesn't want police? The criminals, the people who don't want to be held accountable. It's not rocket science, it's common sense. All Assembly Republicans and one Democrat vote for the bill, while other Democrats the against. Control, there are 61 eyes, 37 noes. So that passage today sends it right here to the governor's desk for his likely veto. But it's not been all fighting between the legislature and the governor. Today, Governor Evers signed a bill to ban chokeholds for police officers throughout the state of Wisconsin. Now, that does provide exemptions in life-threatening situations as well as in self-defense.